Yes, I did some research on Kurt Godel. Um, his full name was Kurt Frederick Godel. Uh, he was born on April 28th, 1906. At an early age of six, he contracted rheumatic fever. Uh, and by age eight, he had read a uh, medical book which led him to diagnose himself with what he believed to have to, to be uh, having a, a weak heart by the age of eight. Um, this eventually grew to him being a uh, extreme hypochondriac and brought about extreme bouts of paranoia. He later grew up um, and went on and enrolled in the University of Vienna in 1923 with the intention of studying physics. He earned his doctorate in uh, six short years in mathematics. In doing so, he met a lot of people and impressed many, many people and was introduced to the Vienna Circle, which was a, uh, a circle, a group of um, the higher thinkers of, of, of the time, of philosophers and log logistic people um, that sat around and thought of just mathematical problems and philosophical problems and scientific problems. Um, in 1927, at age 21, Godel met a dancer named Adele, it's hard to say her name, Nieporkert in a Viennese nightclub. Um, his parents actually did not like their union uh, because she was six years older than he was and had previous and previously been married. Um, they were married in the autumn of 1938. Um, while he lived in Vienna, he was often accused of being uh, Jewish, even though he wasn't, because he many of his colleagues and students were Jewish at the time, and he did live in uh, the annexed state of Germany. Um, and in fact, there's a a uh, notated event where he was attacked by a gang of German teenagers and um, because they thought he was Jewish. But in 1939, after he applied for a paid position at the University of Vienna, he and his wife, well, he was denied that his, his uh, option to become a, a full-time employee. And so with that and the onset of World War II, Godel and his wife uh, left for America in late 1939, uh, traveled across Asia, and sailed across the Pacific, um, and arrived in San Francisco uh, in, uh, on March 4, 1940. Uh, he was a good, good, very good friend with Albert Einstein before that, and so they met up with him, and uh, they moved to Princeton, New Jersey, um, where he then uh, began working for the Institute of Advanced Study, um, which is where many, many, many of the geniuses of America uh, studied, such as Einstein and, and other various members of that elite group. Um, he became a U.S. citizen in 1948, and in fact, Albert Einstein accompanied him for the, for the ceremony because, um, because Godel was known to be very... Uh, unpredictable in his actions because of his paranoia. Um, he had a, a severe cases of, uh, of paranoia and uh, a hypochondria and in his later years uh, Goodell was certain he was being poisoned. Um, this came about because he had a severe ulcer which made him have a, a, a very very crude diet. Um, but because he thought he was poisoned this led uh, him to having his wife taste all of his food uh, before he ate because he was afraid of him being poisoned. Um, and in late 1977, his wife fell ill and was hospitalized. And during that time, Godel stopped eating entirely and eventually died of starvation. Um, he died January 14, 1978, and is buried in the Princeton Cemetery. Um, his first notable... Um, mathematical contribution was his doctoral thesis which stated uh, the completeness theorem which the full name of it in English is on the completeness of the calculus of logic 
the the theorem simply stated that the classical first order logic or predicate calculus is complete in the sense that all of the first order logical truths can be proven in the standard first order proof system. Basically saying that all calculus can be proven using um, simple mathematics to prove it. He then in uh, 1938 came out with the incompleteness theorem. Um, this, this theorem is his most notable and possibly one of the most controversial mathematic, mathematical theorems in history. Um, this shook the foundations of mathematics forever um, and is still debated to this day. Um, this theorem disproved the more common theory of using axiomatic mathematics, um, using logic to prove all of math. Um, in, my, in my own words, this is what I wrote. The theory of incompleteness states that it is, possible to, it is impossible to use axiomatic mathematics in order to create any mathematical theorem that contains all mathematical truths within that field of mathematics. Um, it states that any given theorem cannot be fully proven or disproven based on the infinite consistencies or inconsistencies of those applied axioms. Basically, what it's saying is that within any given uh, mathematical theory, even basic ones, um, no matter how consistent and how provable it may seem, we can't go on for infinity, and thus we can't truly prove any point in math. We cannot carry out every every single proof and every single truth in any theory. Um, so it's not saying that he's disproved everything, he's just saying that you can't truly prove any one mathematical theory. Um, some of his other uh, notable works was uh, his consistency of the axiom choice and other generalized continuum hypothesis and the axiom, axioms of set theory. Uh, Godel also made an important contribution to physics showing that Einstein's theory of general relativity allows for the possibility of time travel. Um, and He later influenced computer programmers um, to have the idea that a computer cannot solve all mathematical questions. Uh, he won several awards for his contributions and his abilities. Um, he first received the uh, the IAS Institute's Einstein Award in 1951, which Einstein uh, awarded it to him. Um, it consisted of a gold medal pictured below, um, and it came with a sum of fifteen thousand um, uh, dollar study prize. Um, and uh, Godot also received the highest medal, which is the National Medal of Science in the Discipline of Mathematics and Computer Science. And this is given to him by President Ford. Um, and then, oh, and he was given that in 1974. And some of the sources where I got my information, um, which would be helpful if you ever want to do any research, um, the Institute of Advanced Study did a little thing on him because... Uh, 2006 stated the 100 year anniversary of his birth, um, but they have a good little section on him. The Encyclopedia Britannica also gives a good deal of information about his, his life history and his, his works. Um, and this gentleman at the bottom, George Bulos, he presented a uh, very simple idea of how of an example of the incompleteness theory. Um, it's brilliant, and I, I advise anybody that wants any any information and wants to understand what the incompleteness theorem is all about. This guy, he, he gives you an example, and he uses all single-syllable words. It's very easy to understand. Um, so if you ever want to do any research on uh, Godel, I definitely look into these three websites. Thanks.